the one thing about that first visit, which, you know, was is, it's always funny, but towards the end of the visit, he went, he looked at us and he, he put his hand on my knee and he just goes, um, you don't mind that I'm bisexual, do you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, bearing in mind that I dressed, I dressed in a suit for both my visits uh-huh. to the twins out of, out of respect, mm-hmm. you know, nice shoe, mm-hmm. dummy hair, I did have hair, most <laughs> short hair, um, but I you know, had my suit on and uh, he, must, he must have taken a fancy to us and, uh-huh. and I just said, well, yeah, I says, I've got no mind what you get up to, Ron, but it's not, it's not for me. And he went, mm-hmm. well, when we get out, I'll take you on a nice cruise. <laughs> and of course, again, the naivety in young Steve Wraith, I, I was going, oh, well, that'll be nice. That'll be nice. Mm-hmm. Anyway, a couple of days later after the visit, um, through, the, through me, me mum and dad's uh, m- um, letterbox drops a, a huge envelope, thuds onto the ground. And, Steve, you got a, something here? It's messy writing on the front. I went, oh, it's obviously from Ron Reg, you know. And I opened it up and it's Hispanic Cruises. Uh, Ron had said, have a look in this and pick where you want to go when I get out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fast forward a few years, God bless him in 95 when he yeah. passed away. And, I, you know, obviously I, I mm-hmm. attended his funeral. I, I, my wreath was a, a big um, cruise ship. Cruise ship yeah. <laughs> By that time, I'd realised what a cruise was yeah, in, his, yeah, yeah. in his world, you know. <laughs>